utasame ni wakati mnafundishana na youth ningependa ujanuke ama uelewe ile youth nataka na wakae kwa hiyo bana youth karibu tasamaji wacha niombe baba katika jina la Yesu mwana Mungu na mtume wa Mungu tuseme na zambe mekuwa mwaminifu mmetendeka mpaka na wakolo mmepata wana youth na dada kuchana nao utasimama mbele yetu baba tukumshana kwa ukweli tasema zambe kwa Yesu tumeomba amen tasamaji wangu na hanza moja kwa moja naanzia mkono wa kulia useme jina lako jina lako karibu asante kwa majina ni Vincent Sako mashinde mimi ni maana youth kutoka area na mafollo chienga kanisa kanisa ni KG popo wa youth hapo napatikana pale na mafollo center unateremka kidogo na barabara kuna chacho ni hapo left tulimka na mirama asante asante sana nimekukaribisha kwa kipindi karibu ah uh, kwa majina mimi naitwa Joseph Nyongesa ah mm. uh, mimi mimi ni mwanayo wa Kambacha mm. kanisa ni Watende Foundation mm. uh, na pia mimi mimi ndio navyo ni mwalimu wa Sunday school mm. alafu pia nafanya kazi ya uwekazina kule kanisa okay nashukuru sana na pia nawakaribisha sana katika eneo la Kabapo na nasema kwa baba asante karibu baba naona na wewe unatapasamu pole pole yeah eh yeah. mimi kwa majina naitwa Collins Njana kutoka mm. Sienga mimi mm-hmm. ni mwana yote mm-hmm. na shiriki katika kanisa la sisi eh sisi eh kwa kwa jina lote full naitwa Christian Church kwa kwa pale Buheri Buheri asante Eh, naona mmeniambia mko watatu na kila mmoja ako na chachi yake ako na chachi yake. Hii ni na maana ilikuwa ni nini? Na nyinyi naona ni mmoja mmoja. Kulingana na mimi, mm. Mtasema kila mtu ali kwenda kwa Kristo alienda kwa njia yake. Mhm. Aliitwa kivya kivya. Yeah. Asante. Hilo ni lako. Na wewe kulingana na mimi mm. japo sitamuunga mkono sana lakini pia mimi nitazidi kusema kwamba mm. eh kuitwa kukuja katika ama kwenda katika kanisa moja mm. pia inategemea na mwito wako na kazi ambayo unahitaji kufanya katika kanisa na pia inategemea na ni vitendo vipi ama ni matendo yapi ambayo unafuata kuhusu ile kazi okay Aya naona mwingine na ananichora. Eh <laughs> <laughs> hey, mimi nimesema na shirika katika kanisa la CCA. Mm. Ile kanisa ni kushiriki hapo kama mbaji. Mbaji. Mm. Sasa sana mimi kwenda kuimba huko abudu. Eh wakati unaimba una shake shake. Eh pole pole. Yeah. Eh na malaika wanashuka. Na malaika wanashuka. Asante. Eh oh, okay. Eh yeah hiyo ndio sababu hiyo shiriki hapo na pia kwa ujumla na jinsi wanavyoendeleza kazi zao pia hmm. zini faisha asante na nataka kuuliza naweza anzia huko mwisho unaweza kuwa na swali ule usito unaona katika youth hata unafika mahali pengine unaona hata utakikiingia kanisani unaweza kuona vitu kama hizo mwingine unasema hata afadhali ningelifanya nini hata afadhali ningelikaa tu nyumbani niko pasta kuliko eh kitu kama hizo mimi nataka muniulize mali unaonea usitu na mimi kichenge kwaje ni wewe ni youth na kesho wewe ndio muhimu karibu asante mm. eh niko na maswali kidogo wewe nanichanganya na kuniganganya mm. wakati niko huko kwa uongozi wangu wa youth mm aswa mimi kama chama mm. kama cha cha pasta na wa hiyo church mm. niko na vijana mm. na wakati wa kufika wakati unafika ule wa Sunday mm. wa, wa kija kanisani mm. unapata wanakuja mavazi yao mm. sio mavazi ya ku ya kuabudu ya kuabudu mm. eh ukisema mvanye hivi unaona ni kama kila mtu anaona njia yake mm. 
nikiuliza kwa sababu anasema watu kama au si usiwafukuze mhm acha tu wafanye nini wakuje wakuje mhm watarekebika pole 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 mpaka venye wata watarifika na wako na wako lakini sasa unalingana venye mnaenda nao na kuchanganya unafika mahali mna gorefishana kidogo mpaka unaamua ni kama umechoka. Sasa hmm. hapo nitakuchibu tu kwa utaratibu wewe ni mwana youth na kesho yako kesho yako utakuwa mchungaji. Kitu utafanya usikatize kuwafundisha. Wafundishe. Wafundishe kindani. Waambie hawa ni wasasi wetu mnaona vile wanafaa na vile wamekaa mpaka kiwango tumefika ni kuchilinda kuonyesha hii nguo unaona mtu anaweza kwa nguo mrefu na awe na tapia mbaya afae mfupi na awe tapia mzuri huyo unaangalia akili yake ukimsongea umfundishe anapatilika usishikwe na hasira haraka waje makuku na ngano ni pamoja. Ukingoa ngano uh, makuku utangoa ngano. Sasa kitu utafanya muende usichoke na mafundisho na mistari. Ukiwa na mistari ukimfundisha ataelewa na atapatilika. Hata sisi wakati tunatuona hivi. Wakati tunafundisha kanisani kuhusu kutoa. Ufundishi kutoa tu hivi ni wanatoa. Watachukua muta za, lakini ukitaka ufundishe kutoa leo ni watoe wasipotoa unasema mimi nataka transfer utakuwa mbiri unaenda pole 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 umenipa na tena unachukua maombi ya kufunga sio ya shakaola unafunga siku mbili tatu ama mbili unaombea wana youth wako wawe in discipline utapata wanaendelea mzuri na unaona wanainua kanisa. Na wale waubiru wenye wanaona youth si wasuri. Nitafika hapo nitawafunza. Karibu na ile hapo. Uh, mimi mm. nimesema kwamba nashiriki katika kanisa la Watendo Foundation. Mm. Uh, pale Ambacha kuna branch pale alafu kuna main ministry mm. kwa hapa chumbeni. Mm. Uh, mimi nilikuwa nataka kuuliza swali kuhusu kutembea kwa utakatifu kama wewe ni kijana. Mm. Unapoangalia maandiko mm. ya Zaburi inasema kwamba ninauliza swali mm. kwamba ni jinsi gani kijana ataishi kwa msafi. Mm. Na pale pale ukiendelea kusoma kwamba Biblia imekwambia pale ni kwa kuti. Mm. Kwa hivyo sisi kama vijana tumeambiwa tu kwamba ni kwa kuti. Mimi sasa swali langu ni kwamba je, ni jinsi gani ama ni njia zipi ambazo kijana ataishi kutembea kama ataishi kutembea ndo akuwe msafi ama akuwe sawa sawa machoni kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na vile vile akuwe anafanya kazi anafanya huduma ya Mwenyezi Mungu vizuri sasa ukitaka uwe kichana mzuri kwa utuma kama we ni yote siwe mtu wa kuchelewa ikiwa wamesema saa tatu saa hiki hapo kutoka nyumbani utafika saa tatu kanisani Unjua wakati unafika unafika tu mchungaji anaangalia akiona umefika anaona mwenendo wako ni mzuri. Wakisema kitu kanzani kama kuhusu matoleo we utaki utolee kwa ajili ya group. Kitoe nafsi yako we mwenyewe. Imani yako na matendo yako ndio itapoosha mwenendo wako. Matendo kiwa mazuri, imani yako iwe mzuri kwa baba utafika bila lawa. Lakini wengi wanataka wafuka. Mfano tu kwa hiyo ibada ya wasemu na Yohana. Vile iko. Wakati wanasema wanataka wanunue kitu kama kitiki wa pepe pasta. Huko kando tumnasikiaga maneno kidogo kidogo. Huyo pasta mwenyewe anunue tu moja. Ikiwa kwangu sina kitiki. Eh, wataki kuchukua yeye ni mchungaji. Na ujue ukiwa hivyo kama we ni mwana yuko. Na wewe kesho unataka kuhubiri. Na uko na siasa kama hii. Ujue wakati unahubiri unataka kutendewa kitu hautatendewa wataingiza sia siasa unachopanda ndicho utakacho nimekuja kwa umeridhika nimeridhika kidogo tu kama ndiendelea yeah. pale kama jasonga kwa huko yeah. kuna kitu kingine nimesikia kusema kwamba kufunga mm. na kusali mm. pia ni njia moja hapa ambayo inaweza kusaidia kama yeye ni mama yetu ama ni 
kijana pale kanisani anaweza kusaidia kuonekana katika hili eh itakusaidia itakusaidia tena pakubwa wakati ujue vijana utasema hivi mhubiri yake akisema nini ni washarati atakuwa amewataa unasikia mhubiri aambie juu eh mko na dama dama mtu msharati ni ule ameoa na wacha ndoa yake anaenda kale lakini dama ya wanayuti ndio inafanya wa wasipande kero na ikiwa utachukua maombi ya kufunga maombi ya kufunga ni mzuri sana leo si utachinda tu hapo kwa nyumba ukiwa utaenda barabarani ke utaenda kwa eh, macho kuruza ruza ke na vijana huwa mnasema utamu wa njuku ni kula kama eh mlijo wake ni kamoja kamoja <laughs> sasa hiyo ukiepukana na hizo vitu kama hizo malaika watakukujia na ukisoma kitabu cha Isaya 50 na nani ah, na kuelezea Isaya 58 kuanzia tena wakati unaanza kuomba ukisoma mahali pale inasema usifunge kwa ajili unapikana na vita na viongozi wako ama kwa ajili ya unataka uwe na kiwango fulani wewe homba tu neema ya Mungu itakufikia na unaona unainuka kwa ndani hata ukitaka kujua una crow kiro ama kikristo kama we ni yudi utaona ukeni kiwa tu mahali wanakupoindi wewe utaenda ukeni mahali fulani wewe unaenda ukeni mahali fulani ni kwa kili kwa kunyenyekea kwako na kufunga kwako umekufanya unajulikana kuna watu wanamaliza mwaka bila kutumwa mahali lakini ukiona unachakuliwa shukuru Mungu yenyekea enda kwa makosa umechasa hiyo imani sawa ni <laughs> kwangu mimi na moja ama mbili mm. ya uimbaji ama si ya uimbaji mm. yangu ni ya jinsi service mm. ama mkutano unavyoendelea katika kanisa mm. so unaweza kupata mtu anasema ninaokoka ndio mm. sio bwana mm. mm. lakini jinsi matendo yanavyoenda mm. na kulingana na jinsi anavyosema mm. njia mbili tofauti tofauti so silewi kokoka ni nini wakati mtu anasema nimeokoka then njia zake lazima inakuliwa na kuleta tu pole pole na uni pata pole pole yeah. ujue wakati Yesu Kristo alikuja ulimwengu alikuja kuokoa ulimwengu wanyama wote jura nyoka panya mandeke kila ndeke na na kina lake alikuja kuokoa unani pa lakini sasa ukiokoka tafuta ukombozi ukombolewe ukikombolewa na Mungu Mungu akikukomboa utaomba Roho Mtakatifu ache ndani mwako Roho Mtakatifu ndiye atakuwa mwalimu wako ukitaka kukosa usi unaona kama mse eh yeye atakukumbusha unaweza taka kuchipu mse vibaya na au unasema ah huyu ni baba huyo ni Roho Mtakatifu kwa ndani yako Roho mtakatifu ataingia. <laughs> Na nipata. Na kupata. Eh? Ujua waka... hii kitu ndio hii swali ni msuri. Watu wengi kwa kitao ni ukombozi, kombolewa na unyenyekee. Utapata Mungu anakushukia roho mtakatifu na ataleta vipawa. Vipawa vipo tisa. Hizi vipawa tisa haitakani uwe na moyo ebi karibu sana wakati unafunga Mungu anakuongeza kipao mbaji itakuwa na hekima hiyo ni kipao e, ujazili na hekima hiyo ni kipao wakati eh unaweza ona mtoto anatenda jambo mbaya na wewe ni kiongozi unamwelekea peke yako tumwelekea kwa mali hawa yote unaona wako na roho ndogo sana wakati una point tu na anasimama na kuangalia na unaona anaweka mkono kwa mfuko ameenda ameenda kabisa hiyo kondoo umepotea enda kwa kumwelekea enda kwa kutia na ukasii roho mtakatifu atakupea vipaa wewe mwimbaji wewe wa kuhubiri hata anaweza kukusikia unabii wakati unabii umekuja eh 
unabii umeingia fanya kwa ujasiria sio kupayuka mtu ukiona hapo na jambo unapika makozi wa watu wanaimba na kuongeza kwa mbele kwa mambo ya nyota hii ilikuwaaje anakuambia uko kwetu tu kutoka ndani sio wewe ndio ha 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 bana utafanya watu wataua mtu hapo naruti kwa hapo kama uko na vingine ni kuna swali bado eh changamoto za jiwara pitia kwa kanisa eh ingana na sisi mayuni wanjua vijana wako na mambo yao kuna mtu anaweza kuja kwa kanisa kwa hika sasa yana kongwe ina shida ya KG Kenya Assembly of Kenya mimi kuingia kwa hiyo charge eh kitu ya kwanza msichana 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 ndo mwenye alinivuta nikamba kupata ni kwa alikuhubiria eh alinihubiria at the same time alikuwa ni kama girlfriend kwa sababu yuko kwa kanisa lakini mimi bado nibaki kwa kanisa. Hasa mm. unaweza pata kuna mtu alikuja kwa kanisa na nia nyingine tofauti. Mm. Kama yako. Kama yangu. Wewe Hata unapata kwa kwa hiyo group, uko nao kwa hiyo group lakini hao ni yao. Wanakatiana. Sasa watu kama hao kabla hujamaliza unatushikanisha unaonaje ukisaliwa na dada yako dada yako alafu amwanze kujasho hata wakati unaanza kuimba kanisani utaimba ukiangalia majibao kwa Mungu mwenyewe ama unaimba ukimwangalia sasa hiyo mikeso kanisani ni mbaya kanisani utamheshimu ujue huyo ni dada yako ujue yeye wakati anataka kwenda kuoleka wewe ndio utampeleka kama shahidi ujue ni vibaya sana kumpeleka kama shahidi alafu wana wanaoweka pepo ni unaanza kulia kwa kuuliza unalia ni unasema at home takatifu amepanda ni kuumba unasikia vibaya vile anakuwaja na sasa mke watu kama hao kama wewe kama kiongozi utawa lazima ni waite utawa wawili wa kanzo wafanye kanzo kanzo link kaitu ni waambie nini sasa mmekuwa majuko tena hiyo mlikuwa mnacheza hiyo mchezo wa jamii Mungu akusaidie upate lakini hiyo mnaleta kwa madhibahu ushera ama tamaa na hiyo tamaa ikianza ni unaona kanisa linaanza kuimba nyimbo ujue baba yako ama mama yako akiona hakuna msichana anaoleka kama mama yake amependa ama kijana kuwa kama wazazi wamependa ni ngumu lazima watarudiane na maneno ndio itafanya sasa kanisa laanze kutawajika wewe na mdomsasi wako anaongea na huyu vipaye na huyu anaongea vipaye anasema hawe wacha ni wawachie kanisa na hiyo hiyo dhambi yote hiyo sito si nini hiyo damu na Biblia inasema ule anasuia ubango wa Bwana kumwaka damu na alani. Utakuwa umepata la. Sasa mchipitie sababu wenyewe. Sasa <laughs> mimi uh, sita kuna kuna jambo mimi nasema japo uh, si kwa ubaya lakini namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mm. kwa sababu mimi wakati nilizaliwa nilizaliwa kwa familia ambayo ina mzoe Mwenyezi Mungu na mtumbo Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm lakini ilivyoendelea kukua hivyo mkubwa mm. kuna jambo ambalo linapotiza ambalo ambalo nimesumbua kitu leta kuna hii kitu inaitwa sala ya toba mm. unajua hapo ulikuwa umezungumzia ukombozi kuokolewa mm. alafu mm. kupeana maisha yako kwa Mungu mm. kwa kwa Yesu wewe kuna sasa hii jambo inaitwa sala ya toba hebu nieleze vizuri hii sala ya toba hii sala ya toba inahusu kitu gani na sala ya toba inasimama hivi sala ya toba ikuwe ni na watu wako na hizi kumbuka sala ya toba kuna watu wameweka mahali kila tusemba wale wa inanii unasikia sala ya toba uko yenu kuna mtu anakuanza kujua na unataka kama umekombolewa sasa ndio damu ndio hiyo damu ndio basi unataka unataka kuseme Mungu ni sana 
damu ya uko ya ushirani Mungu anasema damu ya uko ya uchawi Mungu anasema damu ya uko ya ukanga na temea hiyo ndio hiyo hiyo ya uko na wakati nafukuza hiyo vitu itakuwaajia ndio utawana muda sasa wale watu watumia wataanza kusema na katoto kamekifanya na kamaoogoka na kutilia kila siku na wewe unaendelea unaendelea Mungu anakuinua Meritika eh kuja nilikuwa nauliza unasikia tisiki kuna imambo na majina so mtu mwenye alikuwa ni tio jina akafuata hizo kuna kuna majibu ndani mwa majibu iko eh unjue kuna mtu anaweza kuitwa George unjua tio huyo George alikuwa mtu mtaifa wakati unaitwa utaanza tu na yeye patoe utaifa lazima ukamee jina ili uwe George ya Kiro isiwe George ya Mungu sisi sala ya toka sala ya toka alafu kuna shida tuseme mimi kama nasema samaji wangu naona tumefika ukingoni kwa ajili ya masaa na Mungu akipenda tena wajane na wajaji tutaanishi tena tukutane tena tuendelee mafundisho ya wanayuti tumefika hapa baadhi kwa sasa ni nasema kwa sasa tumefika ila tutaendelea kujifunza hapo namba yangu baba yako nayo na mtaka mtaka kwenda kufunga na kuenda kuona jambo lolote yani ni kitu
Father, in the name of Jesus, Baba kwa jina la Yesu. we want to listen to your word. Taomba kulisikia neno lako. Let your anointing rest on me. Upako wako tulie juu yangu. As I speak your word. Napolinena neno lako. God speak to us. Uwe Mungu nena nasi. Let the Sunday school wherever they are. Watoto hawa wa shule Jumapili wanapopote walipo. As they go for their service, God bless them. Wanapenda kwa ibada yao Mungu naomba wabariki. Thank you for this wonderful moment. Asante kwa wakati ule mkuu. That you're going to speak to our hearts. Ambao wataka kunena na mioyo yetu. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tuomba. Amen. Amen. Next I would like to talk about the importance of faith. Ninalofuatia uh, nitanena kuhusu umuhimu wa imani. It is important that we should know that faith is very important in these latter days. Vyema kabisa kufahamu ya kwamba imani ni muhimu sana nyakati hizi za mwisho. There are there are six reasons why faith is important. Kuna sababu karibu sita hivi ambazo tutapatia umuhimu wa imani. Number one, you need faith to walk because the Bible say the just shall walk by faith. Mwanzo wahitaji imani ili utembee. Maana Biblia yasema kwamba wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 Korinto wa pili mlango wa tano mstari wa saba. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. We walk by faith and not by sight. Tuenenda kwa imani wala sio kwa kuona. My brother and my sister. Dugu dada yangu. The time has come and the time is now. Wakati muadia na wakati ni sasa. That every child of God has to walk by faith. Ya kwamba kila mwana wa Mungu ushatatembee kwa imani. You will need faith to walk now. Wahitaji imani ili uweze kuendelea. The times are becoming more tougher and tougher. Nyakati zimekuwa ngumu na ngumu zaidi. And every child of God must know how to walk by faith. Na kila mwana wa Mungu yampasa afahamu namna kwa nenda kwa imani number 2 cha pili the bible say biblia yasema you need faith to live wahitaji imani ili uweze kuishi roman chapter 1 verse 17 warumi mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 17 the bible say like this biblia yasema hivi for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith basi haki ya Mungu imedhihirishwa kutoka imani moja hadi nyingine. As it is written, kama jinsi ilivyoandikwa, the just shall live by faith. Wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. The time is now, the time has come. Wakati ni sasa na wakati ni huu. Every child of God shall live by faith. Ya kwamba kila mwana wa Mungu shati aishi kwa imani. We shall live by faith. Tutaishi kwa imani. Every day, every time we shall live by faith. Kila siku ya tupasa tuendende na kuishi kwa imani. Number three, cha tatu. The Bible say Biblia yasema that we we are only going to overcome the world by faith. Namna tu kuishinda ulimwengu ni kupitia imani. In the book of 1 John chapter 5 verses 14 Waraka wa kwanza Yohana mlango wa 5 mstari wa 14 The Bible says like this Biblia yasema For whatsoever is born of God kilichozaliwa na Mungu overcometh the world Ushinda ulimwengu And this is the victory that overcometh the world Na ndio ushindi unaoshinda ulimwengu Even our faith Hata imani yetu Faith overcomes the world Imani ushinda ulimwengu The world is going to have so many things Ulimwengu utakuwa na vitu vingi 
Every demonic forces are coming back. Kila nguvu za giza zitainuka. Because of free society. Kwa sababu ya uhuru ulioko kwenye We are entering jamii. a time of free society. Tuaingia nyakati ambazo kuna urumwengi sana kwenye jamii. Everything is becoming free 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 free. Kila kitu kinakuwa ni bure bure tu na kuwa huru. Your child is becoming free. Mwana wako anakuwa huru. Even your wife is not the way you thought you is supposed to be. Acha mke wako anabadilika sio jinsi ulivyodhania mwana. A lot of divorces and separation are taking place. Talaka na kuachana imetokea sana kwenye ndoa. Because people want to be free. Maana wanadamu wanataka kuwa huru because of the westernization uh, westernization culture. Kwa sababu ya mfumo wa kutoka kule magharibi. And things are going tougher and tougher even for the for, for the government for, for, for the government. Na mambo yamezidi kuwa magumu hata kwenye serikali nyingi. That is what the Bible say. Ndio maana Biblia yasema. But him that has faith. Lakini yeye aliye na imani shall overcome the world. Ataushinda ulimwengu. My brother and my sister. Ndugu dada yangu may you develop your faith Hebu uweze kuikuza imani yako to overcome this world Uweza kuushinda ulimwengu huu Number four. cha nne The Bible says like this Biblia inasema hivi We were called to a fight of faith Tumeitwa kwa vita vya imani We are going to heaven Tuenda mbinguni But every day Lakini kila siku challenges will come Changamoto zitaibuka And these challenges that come Na changamoto ambazo zitajitokeza will demand your faith Zahitaji imani yako Challenges will come my brother and my sister Changamoto zitatokea ndugu we have health challenges tuna changamoto za kiafya we have unemployment tuna kutoajiriwa we have business issues kuna masuala ya kibiashara we have a lot of social issues kuna mambo ya kijamii mengi mno the bible says like this biblia inasema hivi we are being called to a fight of faith tumeitwa kwa vita vya imani second timothy chapter 4 verse 7 Timotheo wa pili mlango wa 4 mstari wa 7. The Bible says like this. Biblia inasema hivi. I have fought a good fight. Nimepigana vita vyema. I have finished my course. Nimekamilisha, nimemaliza. I have vita. kept the faith. Nimeiweka imani yangu. Paul fought a good fight of faith. Paulo alipigana vita vyema vya imani. He kept the faith. Akaifadha ama akaiweka imani. My brother and my sister. Dugu dada yangu. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or you are poor. Haijalishi wewe ni maskini ama tajiri. But every time and every moment lakini kila wakati you will find yourself in a fight that needs faith utajipata kwa vita ambavyo vitahitaji imani yako that is why you need to develop your faith ndio maana inahitaji uikuze imani yako become a winner in some of the things ili uwe mshindi katika kila hali we need your faith tuhitaji imani yako you need your faith wahitaji imani you need to develop faith wahitaji kuikuza ile imani number 5 tano the bible says like this biblia inasema hivi that we have the grace of god ya kwamba tuna neema ya Mungu but we can only access the graces of god through faith lakini ili siweze kupata ile neema inatuhitaji tuwe na imani faith makes you access the graces of god imani ya kusababisha kuweza kupata neema yake Mungu the grace of god neema ya Mungu is what god supplies to you ni kila ambacho Mungu achilia kwako that you don't deserve ambacho haukihitaji god is full of provision Mungu amejawa upeanaji. Every day is a day of your downloading. Kila siku ni siku yako ya kupokea kutoka kwa Mungu. Every day is a day of provision from heaven. Kila siku ni mapokezi ya vitu kupokea kutoka mbinguni. This provision is known as the graces of God. Vitu hivi ambavyo vinapeana na Mungu vyaitwa neema. But you cannot access the provisions of God or the graces of God unless by faith. Lakini uweze kupata chochote kutoka kwa Mungu kila siku pasipo imani. May you develop your faith. Hebu ikuze imani yako. May you develop your faith. Ikuze imani yako that you can access the graces of God which are the provision that God has laid down for you. Ili uweze kuipata ile neema ambayo inapeana na Mungu ambayo inakusababisha kupata vyote ambavyo Mungu anakupa siku baada ya nyingine. Romans chapter 5 verses 2. Warumi mlango wa tano mstari wa pili. The Bible says like this. Biblia inasema hivi. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace. Basi pia tunapata vitu hivi kutoka kwa Mungu kupitia kwa imani. Wherein we stand. Maana baba tusimama and rejoice in hope. Na kufurahia kwa tumaini of the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. The Bible is very clear. Biblia iwazi sasa. We zaidi. can only have access to the graces of God through faith. Tutapokea tu neema ya Mungu kupitia kwa imani. Number six. Hoja ya sita. The Bible says like this. Biblia inasema hivi that faith is the key of the kingdom. 
ya kwamba imani ndio funguo wa ufalme wa mbinguni let me repeat this again naomba nirudie faith is the key of the kingdom imani ndio ufunguo wa ufalme wa mbinguni and i want us to read the, the book of Matthew chapter 16 verses 19 ningelipenda tusome kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa 16 mstari wa 19 and i read from cev nasoma kutoka kwa nakala ya cev cev version cv the bible says like this biblia sema hivi i will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven nitakupeni funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni and god in heaven will allow whatever you allow on the earth na Mungu wa mbinguni ataruhusu tu kile ambacho wewe utakuwa umekiruhusu duniani. And he will not allow anything you don't allow. Na tena hata ruhusu hata kukubali chochote ambacho wewe hujakikubali hapa duniani. When Jesus Christ was leaving this earth. Yesu Kristo alipoondoka hapa duniani. He gave the church the keys of the kingdom. Alipeana funguo za ufalme kwa kanisa. The church has the keys of the kingdom. Kanisa ndilo na funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni. Whatever he allows they allow on this earth. Chochote ambacho kanisa linaruhusu hapa duniani. He shall be allowed in heaven. Basi mbinguni pia jambo hili linakubalika in your business kila macho harusi kwa biashara yako whatever you allow in your life unachoruhusu kwa maisha yako god shall allow it mungu atakiruhusu and whatever you bind na kila ambacho unakipinga unakikatama unakikifunga kila ambacho wasema la hasha kwacho god will say no to it vile vile mungu atakipinga atakikataa these are the keys of the kingdom of god these are funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni the bible says like this biblia sema hivi i shall give you the keys nitakupa funguo and you shall open nawe utafungua and when you open unapofungua none shall close hamna atakayeweza kufunga and when you close na unapofunga none shall open hamna atakayeweza kufungua my brother and my sister ndugu dada yangu faith becomes the key imani yafanyika kwa funguo every time you develop your faith unapoikuza imani yako you are developing the keys of the kingdom of god basi unakuza funguo za ufalme wa mungu you need the keys my brother and my sister unahitaji funguo ndugu dada yangu you need the keys man of god unahitaji funguo mtu wa mungu and the key is the faith that god wants you to develop na funguo ni imani yako ambayo mungu anataka uikuze may the lord help you develop your faith hivi naomba mungu akusaidie uweze kuikuza imani yako Next the Bible says like this. Na ufuatia Biblia sema hivi. As we go to the next part of it. Napoenda kwa hatua nyingine. How does faith come? Vipi imani huja? How does faith come? Imani huja kwa njia gani? There are two ways that faith comes. Kuna njia mbili ambazo imani huja. Number one, Mose ama mwanzo. The Bible says, Biblia sema, faith is a measure that is given to every Christian. Imani ni kiwango ambacho kila mkristo amepewa. When you're born again, ulipozaliwa mara ya pili. When you get born again, ulipozaliwa mara ya pili. You get the faith of God. Ulipata ile imani ya Mungu. According to the prophet Habakkuk. Kulingana na nabii Habakkuk. That is the faith of God. Hiyo ni imani yake Mungu. Every child of God. Kila mwana wa Mungu has where to start. Ana mahali pa kuanzia. Every child of God. Kila mwana wa Mungu have a deposit of faith. Ana ile hazina ya imani you have a deposit of faith una ile rubuni ya imani you have a deposit of faith una rubuni ya imani roman chapter 12 verses 3 warumi 12 mstari wa 3 the bible say like this biblia sema hivi for i say through the grace given unto me basi nasema kadiri ya neema niliyopewa to every man that is among you kwa kila mmoja aliye miongoni mwenu not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think asijakania makuu kumliko jinsi alivyo but to think soberly bali awaze kimakini according as god has dealt to every man the measure of faith kulingana na kadiri ya neema ambayo Mungu alimpa kila mtu kuwa na kiwango cha imani God is so loving Mungu ana upendo mwingi that he has entrusted each person with a deposit of faith ya kwamba amempa kila muamini kiwango fulani cha imani my brother and my sister ndugu dada yangu you have a deposit of faith una rubuni ya imani and you better develop that faith na ni vyema ukaichochea au ukaibuza ile imani you could be depending upon a pastor Yewezekana pengine umtegemea mchungaji. The pastor is 20 km away from you. 
Niwezekana mchungaji yumbali sana nawe. At night. Usiku. And maybe he has closed or he has closed he has closed his calls. Niwezekana pia simu yake imezimwa. What are you going to do? Utafanya nini? You need to stand up. Inahitaji uinuke. And speak the word. Ulitamke lile neno. Work on your faith. Uitendee kazi na imani yako. to hear your prayer. Naye Mungu atasikia maombi yako. Number two. Pili. The Bible say, Biblia yasema, faith comes by hearing the word. Imani huja kwa kusikia neno. It comes by hearing the word. Huja kwa kusikia neno. We discuss about the, the, the levels of faith, six levels of faith. Tulizungumzia kuhusu viwango sita vya imani. It depends on how you hear the word of God. Yategemea jinsi unavyolisikia neno la Mungu. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Warumi mlango wa 10 mstari wa 17. The Bible says like this. Biblia inasema hivi. So then faith comes by hearing. Basi imani huja kwa kusikia. And hearing by the word of God. Na kusikia kwa neno la Mungu. Every child of God. Kila mwana wa Mungu need to attend to the word of God. Anahitaji awe makini kwa neno la Mungu. There are people who, are, who, who only go to the church One, one Sunday in a month kuna watu wengine ambao wanatoka kanisani mara moja kwa mwe, kwa mwezi how will you make your faith be full or be great or be exceedingly grown when you are only going to the church once in a month sasa vipi utaikuza imani yako ili ikue iweze kuwa imani iliyokidhiri iwe imani iliyo kuu iwe imani iliyo kubwa zaidi It, na kama unaletoka kanisani mara moja kwa mwezi ni ali church kanisa la kwanza the bible say biblia yasema they were meeting every day kila siku walikutana every day kila siku walikutana and they did miracles wakatenda miujiza even the bible say hata biblia yasema the women uh, through the hands of women miracles were done until the dead came back through women kupitia hata wanawake miujiza ilitendeka hata watu wakafufuliwa But these day people are having shortcuts. Leo hii watu wanapenda njia za mikato. They want to run for shortcuts here and there. Wataka kukimbilia njia za mikato hapa na pale. God has not called us for shortcuts. Hivi Mungu hajatuitia njia za mikato. God called us to hear the word of God and to improve our faith. Mungu ametuita ili tuweze kulisikiza neno lake kisha tukisha lisikia lile neno likuze imani zetu. Where are the times where the ministers of God are taking enough time to teach their members? Wakati mmewadia ambapo watumishi wa Mungu na wapasa wachukue muda wao mrefu kufundisha wakristo namna kuikuza imani yao. Where is the teaching ministry? Huduma ya kufundisha imeenda wapi? Where the members can develop their faith. Mala ambapo watu wataikuza ama kuijenga imani yao. Just as I said in part one of my preaching. Kama nilivyosema kwa awamu ya kwanza ya mafundisho haya. We have so many churches. Kuna makanisa mengi. Where the preachers start with deliverance and finish up with deliverance. Mala ambapo watumishi wa Mungu wanaanza kipindi cha ukombozi, wafuatisha na ukombozi kisha watamatisha na ukombozi. And the same people are being delivered every Sunday. Alafu cha ajabu ni ya kwamba watu wale wale tu ndio wanapokea ukombozi kila kukicha. They come they, they, they become to be customers in the church of God. Basi wafanyika kwa wateja kwa nyumba ya Mungu ya kupokea pokea tu miujiza kila siku. I want to challenge every child of God. Nataka nimtie changamoto kila mwana wa Mungu. Great time. Hebu pata wasaa. Increase your faith. Wa kuchochea imani yako by hearing the word. Wa kusikia neno. Hearing the word. Kusikia neno. How many times do you go for Bible Bible study? Je, wajifunza Biblia mara ngapi? Do you listen to the correct preachers? Je, wasikia wahubiri walio sawa? Because you find that some people you you listen to them listen to the preachers even the preachers they are listening to are not the correct preachers. Wakati mwingine utapata wengine wanawasikiza wahubiri na wahubiri ambao wanawasikiza sio mahubiri wahubiri walio sawa. Is somebody getting me? Je, mwanipata? If you are here, you say amen. Aka mwanipata sema amina. Can you big amen? Hebu nisikie amina ya nguvu. Can you big amen? Amina ya nguvu. We must develop the faith of our members by passing them through Bible study and them understanding the word and the scriptures. Ni shati tuwasaidie washirika wetu namna ya kuikuza imani yao kwa kuwaingiza kwenye vipindi vya kujifunza Biblia na kuweza kuwasaidia ili imani yao iweze kujengeka. Amen. Amen. Next the Bible says like this. 
Nenofuatia Biblia yasema Faith must be seen in action in order for it to work. Imani lazima ionekane kwa matendo ndipo ifanye kazi. If faith is not put in action, imani isipowekwa kwa matendo, it is dead. Basi imekufa. Matthew chapter 9 verses 2. Mathayo 9:2. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. And behold they brought to him a man sick of the palsy. Basi wakamletea mtu aliyekuwa amepooza, lying on a bed. Amelala kitandani. And Jesus seeing their faith. Yesu akiona imani yao. So faith can be seen. Basi imani yaweza kuonekana. When an action is done of faith then faith becomes alive. Tendo la imani linapoonekana basi imani inakuwa halisia inakuwa hai. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. That there was a meeting. Ulikuwa na mkutano. And the meeting was so much crowded. Na ule mkutano kawa watu wameusonga mno. The crowd was too much. Umati ulikuwa mkubwa. But there are people who had a sick person. Na wale kulikuwa na watu waliokuwa na mgonjwa. They knew when that person reaches to Jesus, he will be healed. Walifahamu tosha kama mtu huyu ili mradi tamfikie Yesu basi atapona. So they went and took the they removed the, the iron sheet. Basi wakaenda wakatoa paa. And started bringing the man down. Wakaanza kumshusha ile mtu kwenye godoro. The man was coming down. Yule mtu alipokuwa anashushwa. Jesus so faith. Yesu akaona imani. People who knew that he, this man is coming down for healing. Watu ambao alifahamu ya kwamba mtu huyu anaposhushwa anashushwa ili apokee uponyaji. And the moment Jesus will touch him he shall be healed. Na pole tu Yesu amguze mtu huyu atapona. And Jesus say I've seen faith. Yesu akasema nimeiona imani. Faith must be seen. Imani sharti ionekane. Faith must be seen. Sharti ionekane. Let me get another example again. Kikupe mfano mwingine. Luke chapter 17 verses 14. Luka 17:14. Luke 17 verses 14. Luka 17 mstari wa 14. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. And when he saw them he said unto them. Alipoona akawaambia. Go show yourself unto the priests. Basi endeni mkajionyesha kwa kuwani. And it came to to pass ikatukia that as they were as they went to the priest walipokuwa wanaelekea kumuona kwani as they were in the process of going to the priest walipokuwa njiani wakiana kumuona kwani in the process of going katika ile hali ya kwenda they were cleansed wakatakasika or they were healed au wakapona the bible say biblia yasema this ten leprosy guys how watu watu kumu wenye ukoma they were not healed when jesus talked to them hawakupona wakati ule yesu aliponana nao but they were healed in the process of action of going to show themselves to the high priest lakini walipokuwa njiani wanaenda kujionyesha kwa kuwani mkuu because every person who was healed of leprosy was supposed to go to the high priest manake nyakati zile ile mpasa yote anayepona kutokana na ukoma nishati aenda kajionyesha kwa kuwani mkuu for certification ili kudhihirisha so these guys were going to be certified basi hao walikuwa naenda wadhibitike yet they were sick ili hali walikuwa wagonjwa you are sick wadhihirishwe kwamba wamepona you are sick wewe ni mgonjwa but you are going to be certified that you are healed lakini unaenda kudhibitishwa ya kwamba umepona so in the process of going basi katika ile hali ya kwenda when they were going walipokuwa wanaenda that is called action of faith inaitwa tendo la imani they got healed wakapona njiani they got healed wakapona so faith without action is dead Imani pasipo matendo imekufa. Every, 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 every faith must be put in action. Kila imani lazima uweke kwa matendo. It must be put in action. Sharti iweke kwa matendo. It must be in action. Ni sharti uweke kwa matendo. Number two, pili. Faith demand that you degree something. Imani inakulazimu ya kwamba utangaze kitu fulani. You must degree. Ni lazima utangaze. You must say you are taking it. Lazima useme natua ama nachukua. And I have received it. Na nimepokea. And you thank God for it. Alafu ushukuru Mungu. I have faith for a, for, for a vehicle. Nina imani ya kupokea gari. I receive it in Jesus name. Naipokea kwa jina la Yesu. I have faith for my business. Na imani kwa biashara yangu. My business is succeeding. Biashara yangu yafanikiwa. I'm expanding it in Jesus name. Naipanua kwa jina la Yesu. Somebody is full of faith. Mtale jawa imani. Must be able to degree whatever he's talking about. Lazima atangaze kile ambacho anakinena. Na you remember Abraham? Wamkumbuke Ibrahim. Abraham did not have a child until 100 years old. Ibrahim akuwa na mwana mpaka yapata umri wa miaka 100 years. Miaka 100. But God changed his name. Lakini Mungu akabadilisha jina lake. 
from Abraham to Abraham kutoka kwa Abraham kwa Abraham so that Abraham means Abraham means father of nation Abraham maana yake baba wa mataifa so you could see an old person basi ungemwona yule swaibu mkongwe mzee who can telling people you know i'm a father of all nation i'm the father watu wajua mimi ni baba wa mataifa mimi ni baba wa mataifa but people will tell you but where, where is your child mimi ni baba wa mataifa mengi where is your child lafu watu wangemuuza kwa ni wanao wako but you say i'm the father i'm abraham Gasema, mimi ni baba of nation mimi ni baba wa mataifa that is the power of the green huo ni uwezo wa kutangaza ama kutamka kitu mark chapter 11 verses 23 Mathayo mtakatifu 11 mstari wa 23 The Bible says like this Biblia sema hivi For verily I say unto you Amini amini nawaambie that whosoever yeyote shall say unto this mountain Atakaye uambie atakaye unenea mlima huu The Bible say it is whosoever Biblia sema awa yoyote it could be a member naweza kuwa mshiriki it could be an usher naweza kuwa mwelekezi a member of the present worship aweza kuwa mwanasifa na kuabudu mtu yoyote yule yeyote shall say unto this mountain atakaye uambie mlima huu a mountain can be a problem you have mlima huweza kuwa ni shida kwa konyumba you can be sick huweza kuwa mgonjwa it look like a big mountain inaonekana kama mlima ulio mkubwa kwako there is something you are praying for kuna kitu ambacho choombea which is a mountain to you ambacho kwako ni kama mlima the bible say lakini biblia yasema shall ever shall say yote atakaye unena not which ever shall pray to si yote atakaye ombea he shall say atasema say to the mountain atakaye uambie mlima mountain mlima be thou removed hebu kangoke bidao kasi ndo dashi ukatoswe baharini and shall not doubt in wala sione mashaka moyoni mwake but shall believe bali amini that those things which he said ya kwamba aliyotamka shall come to pass yatakuja kutukia he shall have whatsoever basi atapokea chochote kile whatsoever chochote kile that he say ambacho alitamka haleluya 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 every child of god kila mwana wa mungu is given an opportunity amepewa fursa to degree ya tangaza to say kusema in prayer kwa maombi in conversation kwa mawasiliano in songs kwa wimbo to degree kutangaza and i would like to say like this ningependa kusema hivi may you be a prophet of your own hebu kuwe nabii kivyako don't run here and here looking for prophet sikimbia hapa na pale watafuta manabii wakutabirie the bible says in the last days they are saying nyakati za mwisho people shall say there is a messiah what did i say my messiah yuko pale and people shall run to the messiah what did i say waende kule and they shall there you see now tasema ah hayuko kule yuko kule kwingine wana nakimbia tena waende kule i want to challenge you ningaomba nikutie changamoto you are a child of god wewe ni mwana wa mungu you are born again umezaliwa mara ya pili god is inside you mungu yuko ndani yako jesus inside you yes yuko ndani yako holy ghost inside you roho mtakatifu yuko ndani yako you are prophet of your wewe ni nabii kivyako ah simama simama professor tabiri in the morning asubuhi over your business kuhusu biashara yako tabiri over your children go now The Bible says Bible yasema whosoever yeyote shall say atakaye nena yeyote shall say to a mountain atakaye waambia mlima huu mountain mlima come out of this place toka mali hapa and cannot doubt in his heart asiona mashaka moyoni mwake atapokea chochote alichosema today leo i declare natangaza in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu be a prophet of your own nabii mwenyewe be a prophet of your own wewe uwe nabii kivyako be a prophet of your own uwe nabii kivyako Jitabirie professor over your husband Tabiri kwa mke wako professor over your, your, your wife Tabiri kwa mke wako even over your village hata kwa kijiji chako and even there is a witchcraft there when, when, when you are passing at the home of a witch a witch a witch kipita kwa boma ya mchawi mchawi stand in one of the corners simama pembe moja kwa pembe moja and say i declare alafu sema natangaza this witchcraft uchawi huu i'm giving it two weeks na wapatia juma mbili na juma mawili kufa in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu and just wait and see alafu ngoje tu taona i say there is power inside you nasema kuna nguvu ndani yako look at this book Tazama kitabu hiki Job Job 22 verse 28 Ayubu mlango wa 22 mstari wa 28 The Bible says like this Biblia sema hivi Thou shall also decree a thing utatangaza kitu and it shall be established na kitadhibitika unto thee kwa kwa wewe and the light shall, shall shine upon thy ways na nuru itangaa njiani mwako may you go and decree a thing Hebu uende na utangaze kitu and it shall be established na itadhibitika brother and sister ndugu yangu dada yangu God bless you so much 
much wherever you are i want us to pray with you maybe you are not saved i want to pray with you just, just raise up your hand wherever you are and say this after me lord jesus forgive me my sins i am a sinner put my name from the book of heaven put my name in the book of life today i ask for forgiveness forgive me i open my heart nafungua moyo wangu enter my heart ingia ndani ya moyo wangu in jesus name kwa jina la yesu may the lord may the lord save you bwana yesu akuokoe go to the nearest church nenda kwa kanisa ile karibu where people are getting saved mahali ambapo watu wanaokoka just to finish up again nikitamatisha the remaining 30 minutes dakika 30 ambazo zimesalia you can call me waweza kunipigia simu and we can pray together tutaomba pamoja remember kumbuka you also on the youtube tuko pia kwenye youtube and remember our link is dr ochilo youth kumbuka anwani yetu ni daktari youth ochilo it's on the screen yuko pale kwenye screen i also welcome you na pia nakualika to partner with me 